Hi, hello, and good evening. It is March 21st, and we are here recapping week three in the Big Brother Canada house. Um, a lot of alliances going on. I don't know most of them, um, so hopefully once we get into it tonight, some things will become a little bit more clear. Let's do it. <laughs> I am Kyle Petty, and I am joined, as always, by my festy besties, <laughs> John Dunphy and Gina Morgino, and this is Strat Chat. You can find us on the socials at Strat Chat Pod, and we're not going to keep telling you about Blue Sky because we are not really there. <laughs> um, okay, so where we left off last time, um, J9 left us, right? That was one of the last yeah. very clear things to me that happened. Um, after that... Oh, we had the knockout competition, right? Mm -hmm. Spicy V wins. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to go out on a limb and just say it here. Not a huge fan of Miss Spicy V. I right. know. I've been, I'm afraid that people are going to get mad, but I, I know, don't I know. We might get mad, her. but I'm, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie to everybody <laughs> for weeks on weeks just because I'm scared somebody's going to get mad at me. Um, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I got to be very annoying. I got to be honest. I'm going to make it three for three because, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I, I get that, like, She's a big personality, so she causes uh, a lot of chaos and brings mm -hmm. entertainment. Mm -hmm. But she seems like very sloppy. Like she has not been very good at this she's game. She's not fun, chaotic. She's just chaotic. Right. Like, I'm like well, I, I was gonna say. I, well, I was gonna say too. Like, not only has her game, I feel like, been sloppy and just not very good, but like. I'm just not enjoying her <laughs> in general. I I know I might get some hate for that, but I, I don't I, want to get yelled at. But I, I'm not I can't help fun. it. Yeah. No, I, can't I help find it. I find her grating. Um, and e even right after she wins the HOH, this was a knockout competition. She's like, "Oh my gosh, did I make a mistake? What did I do? You didn't do anything." <laughs> what do you mean? Like, how could you have stopped this? Yeah. If everyone else is basically knocking everybody else out, like, unless you are flat out going to start spitting in your own thing, which is like, so <laughs> disgusting. Like, uh, yeah, upon why was that the competition? I yeah, don't, really I, I didn't, I, I, didn't I didn't mean that. Mean that. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I don't know. So, I, really annoying. Um, although, although, not to play devil's advocate. This this one thing I did enjoy. I like that this 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 car in the house. It gives <laughs> us a private spot to have conversations. No, I, I think it's kind of cool. And when she cornered uh, Vivek in there, uh, and she was like, "I heard somebody in your alliance has turned on you. Is something you want to tell me?" I was like, "Oh, how very effective!" Because she didn't actually say who it was. She's like, "You know, yeah. what? you just start talking." And I was like, "I like this approach." <laughs> That's the only thing of hers that I actually. Yeah, that, and, and, and then she got the information, and it went bad from there. Like, <laughs> like, no. It really did. It really did. And um, so Vivek had told Ducky about this East Coast alliance, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I was rewatching that episode to try and kind of like understand exactly who was even in that because I feel like they kind of just breeze past it really quickly. But that was Todd, Donna, Bailey, and Vivek. Yeah. Now. Some people, they seem to be using alliance and some other word rather uh, freely, almost yeah. like interchangeably. Because one person will say, oh, no, it's not a lie. We're not an alliance. We're just um, we're just looking out for each other. It's just, uh, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> we have each other's back. It's not like a. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's not like a real thing. And it's like, but many other people definitely have said East Coast Alliance. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, there's that. Um we did get a really fun moment though in Sunday's episode because, um, you know, Bailey was over here. You want to like mute yourself? Is you pouring all your stuff here? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something else is going on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, because Spicy had basically went to Bailey and said, I heard that you're in this East Coast Alliance, you know, blah, 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 blah. She's like, what? No, absolutely not. Let's have him in here. And Bailey 
she My got God. crazy. <laughs> I loved it though. I loved it though. But it's also like, this is week three. Like, you're really mad. I was like, oh my God, the drama. It's the second (laughs) eviction cycle. Why are we so mad? Right? It's a little bit too much. It's a little too much. Um, So I don't know. There's that. Um, I thought it was interesting. Kayla had also mentioned that she found out about this East Coast Alliance from um, from Dougie. Did we see that conversation or that just a comment that she made on the side? Um, Because I feel like I didn't see that. But when she said it, it's like, oh, that's interesting. Who else is Dougie talking to? Like, clearly, then that means it's not just spicy. Yeah, I don't remember seeing it, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. (laughs) Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, But okay, so really, that was that was Sunday. Uh, It ended with Vivek and Elijah um, going on the block. Vivek, obviously, for the East Coast thing. Um, and Elijah was used as the pawn, allegedly. Um, Spicy had brought him to Wendy's, though. Right? He got to have some Wendy's. <laughs> That's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> People are just, like, very eager to be pawns in this season. And it's making me feel like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and I also feel like you're eager to be a pawn because you think that, like... <sighs> And I, I think we discussed this a little bit um, like in our preseason chatter, but I feel like whenever you have these returning players, people yeah. just think that they can just, oh, it's going to be so good for me to team up with so-and-so. And it's like, why do you think that? Like, if anyone knows how to come into this game, like sans emotion, mm-hmm. it's the returnees. Like, you shouldn't feel so safe with these people. And because that is kind of the precedent that gets set of like, oh, I come in, there's a returnee, I'm going to attach myself to them, and then they're going to be my person. The returnees also come in knowing that's a precedent that gets set. So like anybody that's, you know, like, I feel like I always end up bringing up BB19 when we talk about this, but it's like, you Mm -hmm. saw Paul sitting there in his DRs being like, I have this whole house wrapped around my finger because they just want to do whatever I want them to do. So I can sit pretty, I don't got to do shit. And they're going to do everything for me. Like they come in with that mentality mm-hmm. because that's always the way it goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For Paul, for Paul too, in that season, didn't he get like three weeks of safety or something like that? He did. Mm-hmm. Like that was crazy. At least, at least Spicy V and Dougie only had a week of safety. They only had the week. They only had the week, but um, they also like have each other. And like, I just feel like because of Spicy's prominence, like, outside of the game too like i mean we all knew of her and we didn't watch that season right so it's like i don't know like people are not going to really want to move against her unfortunately (laughs) especially if they Um, keep trading hohs like this too (laughs) yeah i hope do we know who already won i don't uh i don't Mm. yeah i haven't checked i feel like i had seen something Um, i mean it had to have been in the dallies today so i'm sure somebody somewhere knows but i heard some of the dallies were repeats Repeat what? a repeat dally. Yeah, well, like, not, no, not necessarily like a repeat dally, but it was <laughs> really dilly dallying. If they're showing us repeats, no, a deja vu dally. No, <laughs> it was um because I just saw that um you know our friends from A who are gonna be there. Um, I don't know who was tweeting this, but it was basically saying we didn't miss anything because Donna was even still in this dally, mm. and that's why I'm saying uh, like, yeah, deja vu yeah, Donna dally. <laughs> <laughs> deja vu donna dally deja vu donna dilly dally i like it so like cr- it. yeah so silly so silly um but okay i think that's that spicy confronts me back in the car oh we want to look to see if we know who won hoh it says tba i don't know i don't have that information yeah there might be yeah. somebody out there maybe the, maybe it's tomorrow's dally I'll, I'll comb through the hashtag while we're the, talking and the dally to come the dally to come the dally to come yes um all right, so that was really that. Then we move into the veto episode. Um, I don't think there's anything really groundbreaking before the competition. Um, mm-hmm. I think this is where we started. To, she was starting to doubt a little bit um, the decision to maybe. No, that could have been after. Everything's a blur, unfortunately, when you watch all <laughs> things in a row. Um, but um, she was going out around basically telling people that they could use the veto if they wanted to. Um, which those conversations, like, I don't know about that. Like, cause you're clearly making it obvious that you, that do have the intention to backdoor someone, that this isn't really what you're trying to do. Like you shouldn't be so okay with saying that that's all right. Um, so I just, just another little like, um, observation. 
Oh, here comes Russ again. With this negativity. Uh, dear Russ, sometimes <laughs> people don't see every tweet that's been tweeted. I could have missed it. I was just looking. <laughs> so Sorry. So you, you, you're you're mad at me for not knowing that I don't know the information that everybody else doesn't know. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? I could have been a dally. I have a job. Like, come on now. <laughs> um, any losers. I, I also I also have to say because Russ sassed us about our thoughts about Dennis uh, last week not using the uh, the veto on Janine, if you remember, mm -hmm. and how we were just very unaware of what was going on in the game. But we did see Donna leave this week, and Donna said that she thinks that Dennis could win this game and that she loves him. <laughs> so uh, clearly he's not doing so bad in there. I still like Dennis. I don't see any. I like Dennis. I still, yeah. I still like Dennis he's as well. One yeah, one of the few people I'm endeared to right now. <laughs> and no, I think I'm he's nice doing too. great. Yeah, yeah. I, th yeah. I, I think, tr I think trying to save Janine would have been the worst thing he could have done with that veto. <laughs> um. Well, so there's that. Um. What else we got? So the veto competition. This one actually looked really, really hard. Having to move these two blocks down, like over the cargo net, and had to drop it down perfectly. There's absolutely yeah. no way I would have gotten any of this. <laughs> Um, like, I would have gotten how, so frustrated, right? Like, how weighted is this square? Because that would mm. really like make a big difference. Because if it's it light, also looked it like the, around. The, the ropes on the side that they had to kind of feed it through seemed so tight. I was like, the mm -hmm. amount of like work that I would have to get through, I'd be like, I don't care, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Week three, leave me alone. <laughs> the fact that you have such a give up spirit in so many of these competitions. That's why I don't play. About. That's why I sit at home and I watch people. Like, they're not who even trying. Just like, I don't care. <laughs> Send me home. It's like what? That's why I'm not on it. <laughs> so hysterical. <laughs> um, but Dennis takes his second, you know, veto win. All mm -hmm. right, already being dubbed the veto king. I said, I think that's a little early. That's a little early. I mean, granted, there's only been two vetoes, so like, who else are you going to dub with that right. title? I just don't think we should be tossing it out so soon. Um, but Dennis does make it clear that he intends to use it on Vivek and does follow through. Um, but some of what now put this target on Donna's back here is really the fact that um, she's over here, like, well, she was sitting around with Todd, but Spicy seemed to not like very much. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, that doesn't mean that she was spilling anything. Like, maybe they're just getting ready to shack up, which we saw from that exit. <laughs> which, and this is what makes me laugh so much. If this had been American Big Brother, we would have had the two of them shoved down our throats all week. Look at this show, I man. know. There I is know. love. Meanwhile, we got digital dilly-dallies, and even people on Twitter were like, when the hell did that happen? Like, right, I didn't see right. any of this anywhere. And this, um, there also seems to be something brewing with like Matthew and Lexis that is also not getting a lot of airplay mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So, you know, so there's that. I don't know. I, I think Canada doesn't care about showmances as Which, much it's as so we do funny here in America. Because I feel literally, like, if this was an American season, there would have been like five hashtags. We would have gotten like fan edits of the two of them together. <laughs> fan <laughs> edits. <laughs> All over the place. Yeah, I feel like everybody, well, people also go on this show to get into a showman's because well, they're lobbying for other shows and things like that. Yeah. Like they they want to do Amazing Race. Like, you know, they don't they don't really play like that in, in Canada. It, mm -hmm. seems, yeah. it seems like they actually want to like play the game. But Oh, well, uh, but this is what started to put some of the target on Donna's back um, and then like kind of celebrating with Vivek and like acting like she was kind of cool with him. That didn't sit well. But now here's Spicy. She was like leading the charge to backdoor Donna and then all of a sudden felt bad. And it's like, I don't even know what version of you to believe as the viewer. Like, I, you, it's, we're not getting a ton of clarity in her DRs either. She's so no. like, I it's a great idea, it's a terrible idea. I made a mistake, right. I stand by it. It's like, I... <laughs> right. there's, there's never a point where it's like, oh, maybe I have to think about this. Like, what's the best option? Yeah. It's it's one extreme or the other, mm -hmm. constantly, no in between. Like, yeah, I don't love it. I don't love it. Um, but that was that. So then we, um, so Dennis does use the veto to remove Vivek. And then Donna went up in his place, much to the shock of everyone. No one really saw that one coming. Mm -hmm. um, I loved it. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just not because I'm necessarily rooting for Donna to go, but like I just who doesn't love a good blind side? I mean, mm -hmm. like good times, and good she times. Was pissed. Oh yeah, Donna was sick <laughs> so about it. She was sick about it. 
Um, and while we didn't get a sponsored veto this week, we did get a, a special sponsored competition, which in the beginning, I wasn't sure what I was liking. Um, this is you had to use your Samsung Galaxy phone. To See, film. I, I could have done without this. <laughs> I didn't need this. <laughs> I know I you love SpawnCon. Yeah, like... you know, and I didn't I didn't love it in the beginning, but once we got towards the end of it, we actually got to see the movies. I did quite enjoy them. Um, <laughs> what, which one was your favorite? I think the fiance fiasco was my favorite. <laughs> um, the horror one seemed a little like lame. <laughs> you didn't like Skinnis? Skinnis. No. And I wasn't even 100 percent sure why it was called that. I think it was just Dennis, you know. I know, but sk skinning people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. It, it, the fact that it's not even clear, I like that's not really that's not really good. Um, but I thought I thought it was like a little fun thing to do. Um, and they, I guess they won. It was like six thousand dollars altogether. So I guess everybody gets one thousand. I would have rather right. a sponsor. Yeah, I, whatever. It was fine. It was I, fine. I'll take it. I mean, I'll As take it. I was like, why are we doing this? Like, I I, I'm sure it's fun for them because it gives them something to do, but I, I, I don't. Right. <laughs> you're, basically, you're literally just participating in like a glorified commercial, which is why like a sponsored veto, I feel like is a little bit more fun. Um, this really didn't have any point to the game at all, sure. but. It was it was enjoyable, but that was kind of like sandwiched in between um, some rather good like potential house flip kind of stuff going on, which I was entertained by. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a time there I was a little nervous for Elijah. Oh know, because, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, because it did look like Donna was starting to gain enough steam um, until the hot chocolate ladies were just like, "Yeah, I hear it, but nah." Well, it sounds like I feel like <laughs> throughout this episode, I was like, "How are tensions?" so high already we've seen so many people cry and like have these big blow-ups and it's like i i don't understand what possibly could have happened to make mm -hmm. everybody this emotional this early in the game they're all like i've never in my entire life said anything bad about you and it's like you've known me for like four days what do you mean you're right <laughs> right you right. right and i couldn't like when when spicy v like kept talking about how she was like so regretful about mm -hmm. putting Donna up, and I never thought that a, a girl would go home when my when I was H O H. And I'm like, you put the you girl up that's at risk of going right. home. What do you mean yeah. you didn't think you, yeah. you a girl would go home? Now we're gonna have two girls going home, and it's like well, you did this though. Especially right. because like everybody was so in on like Vivek's got to go, and I get that mm -hmm. like Vivek was saved with the veto, sure, but like. Up until 10 minutes before the veto ceremony, like no one was really like riding hard for Don. Like, I don't know. Like the Donna thing just seemed like so out of pocket. Yeah, it <laughs> did for me too. And if you really didn't want to do it, I, I do see a world in which you could have put Tola up. Right. And yeah, she was earlier. I feel like it was in the Sunday episode when she was first going through Target. So those were the two names she said were Target, Target, Tola and Vivek were her targets. Right. So like I don't, I don't know why yeah, we're not just. If you didn't just... want to do Donna, it's not like you couldn't have because like you wouldn't have gotten really any blood on your hands for putting Tola up. That yeah. was the other name that everyone else keeps mentioning, at least in what we've seen. And if your so... whole thing was I don't want a woman to go home on my HOH, you had another man to put up. Right. You chose to put the woman there. You chose to put her there. And then I still say that, like, the way that she carried herself even after that, she kept saying, oh, my gosh, like, I don't know if I want this to happen. Like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't even really know if that's true. I can't imagine what the people yeah. in the house were thinking. Like, I, like, how do you really feel, Spicy? Because like, even, like, the, like <laughs> right. she she puts up Donna, and then Donna comes in the room, she's like, no, please, I can't even look at you right now. I'm so sorry. And it's like, you you did this to me. Why are you crying? <laughs> You it's had, just so, so weird, you had, yeah. The entire house could have gone up. Why are right. you crying? Right. You put me there. Right. It's not like and half the house. So phony. Yeah. yeah it's right, not like half the house. Uh, right. It's not like half the house is safe this week, yeah. like last week. Yeah. Um, and I just, it's just funny to me too, because this is how all over the place Spicy V has, has been, right? She put up Vivek 
knew that Donna and Bailey wouldn't be cool with him going home. So had this whole thing of, I have to get Vivek to admit to this so that I can go to Donna and Bailey and do this. Mm -hmm. And then because Donna was like being too buddy, buddy with Vivek. Now it's Donna instead of Vivek that has to, it's just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and, then now, and then now we don't want Donna to go home because I was wrong. Like what's like, what are you doing? Like, what are the, you doing? The, the DR like immediately after Donna went up, she was like, I shouldn't have done that. And it's like you like it took you like three seconds of thought to be like, mm, that wasn't the vibe. But it's like what, what you were so in. You were right. so in. Like <laughs> to the point where I think she was even like in the HOH room by herself at one point and was like amping herself up about how like Don has been screwing me, yeah. blah blah blah. It's like there's no one else even in the queen. room. Yeah. There's no one in the room for her to even like perform for. You know, like she's just in her own head going through all this. Um and and then it immediately changes it, switches on a dime like that. Like, like, like to Kyle's point, I feel like usually in moments like this, even when players are like super erratic, at least their DRs kind of tell the story of the thought process and we can kind of follow along and be like, okay, mm -hmm. I can see what your point of view is. And even if you totally switched up, I can see where the switch happened and how we got there. Right. I have no idea how we got here. This like, is just sheer chaos. Our DRs are all totally over the place. I'm like, I don't know what you <laughs> think. I don't think you know what you think. Like, I'm yeah. very confused. Right. I feel like it's just funny to me, too, because, like, Spicy V acting all guilty about, you know, going against the Girls' Alliance. You've been going against the Girls' Alliance from day one by keeping Anthony as your number one and not telling anybody about it. Like, you're already going against the Women's Alliance just by doing that. Mm -hmm. So now, like, you had everybody lined up to vote Donna out, and it was, like, a totally acceptable reason that you could have, like, used to just keep everybody on the same page. And then, like, she's just going back and forth. Do you want a women's mm -hmm. alliance? Do you not? Like, because you're going to have to drop Dougie then right. if you want right. this alliance. So, like, right. and if and if he sees you do that, he's going to start working against you. So, like, she's put herself in this, like, weird spot. I don't, I don't know. It's just very bizarre to me. I, I, I can't keep up with it. Yeah. And I wish there was a different pawn up this week because I really did not want Elijah to go. I, I'm kind of oh excited to see what he does. But Yeah, I really like Elijah. I like him but a lot. After all of this, I definitely I did also want Donna to stay, you know, because I think Donna is fiery enough that she would have like turned that house upside down mm -hmm. after, if she got to stay. Um, I see her as somebody because I don't think any of the uh, these alliances are like so super solid and super set that like. Donna couldn't kind of hop from place. Yeah. To place. Well, she had been saying too, I think at one point that like, she was not like, she would work with the people she had been working with as long as she needed to, I think, but like that she would definitely flip on them whenever she thought the time was right. Because it seemed to me like she was going to be an interesting person to watch if she had stayed in terms of like, will she flip around work yeah. with other people who might she betray? Mm -hmm. um, that would have been interesting. I just would have hated to see Goose as the the I you know, know. yeah the person I to go to see him go. But um, I'm also really interested. Like we had we didn't get any of this. I don't think either. But like Alexis's goodbye message to Donna was very yeah. interesting. Very much like you've been talking about me behind my back. Like I don't know if that was even game wise. Like she meant. So like I, I really wish that we had seen more about maybe what happened between Alexis and, and Donna. I don't know. That could be in the dallies. Yeah. Maybe yeah, that was a dally thing. Not that I saw anything on Twitter about it, but. Mm. Well, I mean, clearly the dallies aren't giving us everything because literally nobody knew there was a showman's happening until they kissed goodbye. <laughs> yeah. And that kiss was like very spicy. My <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Like it's full dental checkup over here. Not and dental like, checkup. They were, I mean, they went deep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my goodness gracious. Yeah, I only know each other for three weeks. Like, what is all of this? He was like, I'm so grateful to have met you. I'll see you on the other side sooner rather than later. Please just like it like it almost sounds like what? no, like wait for me. I'll be there soon. And it's exactly. like, and why, would you, like and why are you saying sooner rather than later? Hopefully not. I know it's like dad, that means you go home, my guy. <laughs> right. Does that mean you don't you don't even plan to make jury? Is that is that what we're playing for? Like, what do you mean? He's planning to self-evict to go Ooh. chase his love. Oh, so it's a, it's a love story for the ages, you know. <laughs> is, it, is it Todd, Todd and Donna. Donna, Tana, Dodd? <laughs> <laughs> um, I literally watched you decide if you wanted to say it out loud. 
I was like, is that any fun? And I was like, actually, I, I, I'm not going to know it until I say it. <laughs> Todd reminds me. Have you ever seen, have you guys ever seen the show Trailer Park Boys? No. It's a Canadian show. Sorry. Um, actually, Todd not looks wise at all. Literally just in the way that they speak and some mm -hmm. of like the, the tone and like the phrasing. Todd's voice reminds me of this guy in the show that's named Bubbles, who is like his only concern is making sure he's got enough money to like pay his rent and feed his kitties. And but like the way that he talks is very much <laughs> reminds me for whatever reason, the way Todd talks reminds me of Bubbles. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with sure. me. All right. I'll have to get some voice I, I, I'm samples for you guys. I'm unfamiliar with bubbles, but I yeah. take yeah. your word for it. I'll, I'll can't, get some. You can't agree or, de or deny here. <laughs> I'll, okay. get, I'll get some voice samples for you guys. All right. I'm, I'm sure you will. <laughs> ISO voice of bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are you looking forward to this week coming up? Um, who do we want to win HOH? I wouldn't mind if it was Dennis. I wouldn't mind a Dennis HOH for sure. I kind of feel like Dennis needs to lay low a little bit for a week, though. Like, Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Um, the only concern with that being that, like, you know, if if there already is a target on his back for having these two veto wins, could be a problem. Like, maybe we could use an HOH week to kind of solidify. Yes, but then that's also things. one more thing that he's won and more blood on his hands. So like, it is. Yeah. It, is. it depends on how well I'm you are. I'm wary of that. Yeah. See how you can work yeah. having the power of an HOH. I don't know if we have that much faith yet. We don't we don't know. I think a lot a lot's gonna, you know. We'll see what happens. I, I feel because I feel like Vivek is still very much uh a target in there now, especially after mm -hmm. like the way things went with Donna. Mm -hmm. Um and I think it was Bailey, uh specifically. Like I think um that if like a Bailey was to win or maybe even like a I'm trying to think who else. I don't know. I don't know. I could see Vivek though being definitely a target. Hmm. Bailey stresses me out. <laughs> Bailey does stress me out. Yeah, she's a little too much. <laughs> I do enjoy her also, but she's uh, she stresses me out for sure. She's yeah. a lot. Um, I will say that I, I am also endeared towards Kayla. Um, I think Kayla's really. I think she's smart. Um, I think she's very perceptive. So I'm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing a Kayla HOH. But some of these people, again, you're also going to now start putting targets on your back because um, you've got like now people are actually starting to like draw some lines in the sand here. Um, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd love to see. I'd love to see Goose win an HOH too. <laughs> See him too. I don't know. I feel like he like he's so well liked right now that I feel like he has no need to get any blood on his hands for a minute. So I feel like he could still like chill for right now. You know, like I don't think anybody would actually come for him for goose. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I think it would be in his best interest to like wait it out a little more. He I just agree. needs to. He just needs um, to not volunteer to be a pawn anymore please yeah just don't volunteer to be a pawn because that, that's the only concern like if this early in the game it's like once you're a pawn once i get like people kind of right. like, like they kind of keep using you that way and then eventually you do go mm -hmm. so yeah. i know that that does make me like a little nervous um and i don't know anything about matthew's game i feel like we've heard we has he even ever been in the dr <laughs> yeah, there, there's there's so many of them that we just haven't really heard from yet. Which like that, right. that's why like the beginning stages of this game is so hard because it's like I feel like there are so many people I don't know. Because yeah, even right. like you watch live feeds or you watch the dallies or like whatever, you're not getting the re you don't know if you're really watching them or if you're watching them socially navigating through a game because you're not getting any of their insight. Yeah, so it's it's hard to know for a lot of them. It's hard to root for anybody. Um, I know who I'm rooting against. <laughs> I'd be fine if somehow Spicy went home, or even or even Dougie. I don't. We don't need these old stars in here. Like yeah, I'm not super now. endeared towards either of them. No, they can just go. Like let's just watch the newbies play, because um, everything is so centered around what do they think. Yeah, you know, all the girls wants to know what Spicy thinks. Everybody wants to go run the Dougie with stuff like that. And it's like, can we just want to see some original alphas? Yes, I want to see what the power structure looks like if they're all left on their own. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
because I have no idea who's really going to be in charge of anything if they weren't there. I, I guess on the girls' side, I kind of see like people like Kayla and Bailey seem to be a little bit closer like to the front of the female thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't mind seeing Avery assert herself. I find some of her antics and her way of doing things kind of annoying, but I do... Um, I think she knows, she understands how to play the game. So the conversations, yeah. and when she's actually having a normal conversation, she's not being extra, I feel I'm actually endeared to her, towards her in those moments. Sure. Um, but yeah. otherwise, like so she's just like just screaming all the time, just hopping around, and it's like, we're just crying too much. And it's like, I don't know, like all these Every, yeah. like, So many tears for week three. <laughs> <laughs> so many tears, everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's crazy. But, I had a question for you guys. Sure. Okay. So in her exit interview with Arissa, Donna, Arissa had asked, you know, who do you think is going to win? And Donna said, def she mentioned, she said Dennis, mm -hmm. and that she loved Dennis, but she also said that she's, she, she said, I definitely don't think any of the floaters are going to win. And I was trying to think, who do you think in this cast is a floater right now? Because I feel like everybody's kind of involved in things. It, it it's also so hard again because I feel like there's like the clear two that are in charge of everything, and I feel like everyone else is just kind of like doing their bidding. Right? Maybe Matthew is Matthew a floater? But well, I that's the thing again, we haven't seen enough. We don't have any TRs from him. We don't see what he's actually thinking about yeah. anything. The only thing I think we've really seen of Matthew is that he's been hanging out with Lexus. Mm. Right. Like, that doesn't tell me that you're a floater or that you're not. Right. Um, I feel like Matthew and Tola maybe might be. The closest to floaters, but I, I feel like Todd and Vivek have had this East Coast Alliance thing with Donna and Bailey. All the girls have obviously been involved yeah. in alliances and stuff. Like, but I, I don't know. But I, I was trying to think. I, it doesn't feel like there's really any floaters in here. Maybe just people we haven't seen enough. You know. Yeah. But. Yeah. No, we haven't seen enough of anything yet. Um, I don't know. I guess I mean, coming into this next week, hopefully, if somebody other than Dougie and Spicy are running yeah. things, we, we need a different HOH, and I think that'll help a little bit. It'll be interesting to see the two of them not in a power position, because he definitely thinks that he has some sway, you know, mm -hmm. because Spicy won. Um, so if we get a newbie to win, I'd be very interested to see what their influence then becomes, mm -hmm. um, and if that shifts at all. Yeah. Yeah. But that's really all I got. Yeah. That's all I got, too. I will yeah. say that the only other thing, and this is such a stupid thing, but I am very disappointed because last week we got uh -oh. like the, the unveiling of the big portrait, which I thought was going to be the HOH competition. I thought it was like memorized details from this picture. And we're going to do it because like, we got like a whole big segment on like the grand portrait and we never heard from it again. And I'm a little upset that there, we're not like losing people America's Next Top Model style every time somebody gets sent home because that's <laughs> what I wanted. That's, uh, that was all I wanted. Just someone disappears from the big family portrait. And that's it. Goodbye. That's all I wanted. Mm, fair. All right. That would have been fun for me and me alone. <laughs> I want Marsha the Moose to come back. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I don't know where Marsha's been. It's been missing, you know. Right. Did we not Marcia. get anything last season? I don't I think, think we, we got Marsha. We did two we seasons. I thought we got ago. one segment, maybe. I thought I could I don't, there was something with Kevin two seasons ago. I don't remember if there was anything. Hmm. I season. thought Marsha made an appearance last season, but I might be. Completely... I feel like in some of the older seasons, you got to see Marsha like more than once. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Marsha always had lots to say. Because I, I remember Kevin Jacobs doing the like, convince everybody that you're self-evicting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there another one? What was, the, what was the one uh, like convince everyone that someone's coming back in the house or something? And the person had to like set an extra place at the table and stuff without like anybody noticing. I like I remember some kind of uh, oh, task you know, like that. That I'm not sure. I don't know if it was a Marsha thing, but I remember there being a thing where Renee had to like, because I remember Renee having to convince Daniel C that she has a crush on him. And that was like a thing. Like she had to like convince <laughs> people of things to earn like something. That does sound familiar. But but was it Marsha initiated? I don't remember. Who was responsible for that I feel like it foolery? Was it? No I feel like it was like the the like <laughs> essence of that, but there was no Marsha. I feel like I remember Kyle being very upset about that. Yeah, bring back Marsha and oh, the silly ass boy. Yeah. yeah, we love Marsha. We love Marsha. Miss you, girl. She's a good moose. Um, <laughs> she's the only moose I know. 
unless you count uh, Bullwinkle, see a moose? Yes, Kyle. <laughs> and maybe he was an elk. An elk. <laughs> <laughs> already going off the rails. We don't have time for that. We have other things to do tonight. Um, so when is Big Brother on again? There's a schedule change. Um, this Sunday is at 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. if you notice, 8 o'clock. Um, then I guess we're still at Tuesday at seven and then Wednesday at nine, three, zero. Um, what do we have happening in about a half hour, 10, 15, we are recapping finale week in the Australian survivor universe. Okay. Um, we got to sing, we got to see Ferris, King Ferris and his grand win. Um, so very, very excited to kind of relive the week here. Um, Definitely a number of things to get into. Um, I thought it was fun. Did I have a good time at that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that was more fun than this week in the BB Can House. Um, but any Hoosers, yeah, that's what we have going on. We'll be back here next week with Brother Brother Canada at 9 o'clock. Um, and on Monday, Monday at 9, the three of us are doing Survivor 46. Um, and without Mikey, Mikey, oh, that's the first right. Daddy thing right I now. forgot. I forgot. Mikey's got better things to do as he's out on tour. <laughs> um, but you can catch our entire schedule and everything else on our socials at Strat Chat Pod. Um, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and um, thanks for hanging. We're out of here. <laughs>